With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler Edge Action menu. Locate the Transpose Edge Action. With the Transpose Action selected, you'll see a series of targets down below. To start off, let's select the Edge Target. With the Edge Target selected, if you hover over an edge on your model and simply click, ZBrush will auto-mask everything on your model except for the edge you have selected and automatically throw you into the Move Transpose mode. From here, you can come through and now transpose this edge like so and move it around as necessary. To go back to the Z Modeler brush, you need to actually come up here and either select the draw icon or just press Q on your keyboard and this will return you back to the Z Modeler brush. Hovering over the edge again, you can now change this target to something else, so something like Edge Loop Complete, and then you return your model and just click on any edge and it will perform that auto masking again and automatically select the Move Transpose line. Also of note, depending on which edge you clicked will determine where the transpose line will start out. So as I clicked on this edge here, the transpose line has now been generated in this position and now I can perform a move action like so. Returning back to draw, you can come back in and now hover an edge and then select some of the other targets here. The edge loop partial target will look at the actual edge loop on your mesh until it runs into an extraordinary point or a point that is not connected by four edges. So this point right here is only connected by three. So if I come over and apply the transpose action to this loop here, you'll see that it will perform that edge loop unmasking until it gets to that extraordinary point. And now as you notice, as I clicked on that actual edge, the transpose line was based off of the actual edge normal there, so it's coming out of the model like so. So now I can perform the move action on that actual edge like this. To return your model back to an unmasked version, you simply just need to clear the mask. So if you're back in draw mode, you can hold control and just drag off your model like so and release, and that will unmask your model. Then you can go back in and start using any of the other Z Modeler actions across your mesh. Using this transpose action along with these selected targets, you can come through and target specific edges and perform move, rotate, or scale transpose actions.